This is just one piece of a multi-part course working with actions inside of Moho Pro 13. If you'd like more information on this course and to receive 20% off, click the link in the top comment. There's just one more thing I want to touch on before we build up the actions library. I currently have 13 Chad actions library opened up. This is actually the final complete file for this course. And I'm accessing this file because it has a bunch of actions that we can use to show you the differences between references and copies for actions. So first, I have the Chad bone layer selected and I'm just going to come in here to the actions library, go into my regular actions and let's just grab the walk cycle. Go to frame six and on the actions panel, you'll notice on the bottom, we can insert a reference or a copy. Let's start with reference. If we click on this, it's going to insert what appears to be one keyframe and then labeling it as walk cycle, since that's the name of the action. And it has these arrows pointing to the right. And when we hit this point, it's just going to keep going just like this. And that's how we set up the action itself. If we were to go into the walk cycle, you'll see that it is in fact a cycle. We have those cycle frames there. And you'll also notice we have a bunch of keyframes making up this walk. And we will be building this walk cycle, by the way, in this course later on. So you'll learn all about how we can build something like this up. But you'll notice that it's made up of a bunch of keyframes. And if we come back here to the main line, none of those keyframes are there. So creating references is basically isolating the actions. And it's also a way to kind of protect the actions, but also keep the timeline clean. So you don't have all these keyframes going on. You can create your actions and just drop them right in. And there you go. Then you can start doing whatever you need to do with this. And there's one other quirk to keep in mind. Let's say you go to frame 18 and we're halfway through this cycle and you want to alter the arms. Well, you could come in here and do that. You can see I'm altering them. And now we are placing keyframes within this cycle. So we have this going on and all of a sudden you can see that it's not interpolating. It's acting like a step of sorts. All of a sudden it's just boop, we go there and now the arms are up this way. And even the bicep continues to animate as if it's down because we didn't add any keyframes for that. If we were to come in here and do that, just like this, you can see now it would stay like that. So in a way, there are some advantages to this because you could have him walking and maybe he picks something up and you don't have to go in and go into that action to adjust it. You could just alter the reference if you wanted to. One more thing to keep in mind with references, and I'm just going to undo these last few actions so that way we have the walk cycle as is. Let's say we are animating and we've done the whole production. We have all of our animations set and you're test viewing it or whatever, and you see something that's wrong with, let's say, your walk cycle. You've added this walk cycle in several times throughout the production, and now you're realizing there's this weird glitch, and you're like, oh no. Well, the good thing about referencing actions is, let's say, you can see how this looks right now. If we were to go and just go into the walk cycle action itself by double clicking on it, and on frame 13, I'm just going to do something that's really obvious. I'll just grab the pelvis and move it like all the way up like that. And again, this is just for our purposes to see how this will work. So in the action, all since like whoop, and he goes back down and we've made that change in the action. Now, if we go back to main line and we start, we watch this, you can see because we made that change in the action, it's going to alter it within the reference. And you can see because we have it set to a loop, it's just going to keep doing that over and over and over. And so that's the other good thing about references is you can make changes and it will affect whenever you reference that action anywhere on the Moho document. So a copy then, on the other hand, is basically the opposite of this. So if we click on walk cycle and we're just on frame 42, I'm just going to go ahead and insert a copy. So now you can see we have the same animation. However, we now have the keyframes placed down just like they were inside of the 
action itself. So this is good if you want to grab the walk cycle and kind of use it as a reference. And maybe you want to create a second or different type of walk cycle. Maybe you want the walk cycle, but you need just a variation of this. So you come in and you start altering the keyframes and then you can create your variation based on that. And you can see then you can use the original to do that. You don't have to go inside the walk cycle to alter it. And this also means you can have multiple variations of it without worrying about overriding the original action. Because if you wanted variations of a walk cycle using only references, you would essentially have to create duplicate walk cycle actions and then create the variations within those actions. So using references and copies both have disadvantages and advantages. And throughout this course, I'm mostly going to be using the insert copy feature. I just find it to be easier to work with, especially just when going through and adding in these actions. And you can use insert reference if you wish, but I just wanted to point out the differences here. And just in case you're wondering why I don't do that much, it's just easier for me to go in and kind of work with things in the course as we insert copies. So there you go. That is the difference between the two. And up next, we can dive in and start building our poses. And there's definitely more to learn with this course. We go through build up an actions library. We talk about the different action types. We talk about what actions are more appropriate for others. We even build an optional actions dial if you wish to go that route. So there's a lot to cover in this two and a half hour course. Please click the link in the top comment to check it out and receive 20% off.